Good morning. Is it still morning? Yes, it is still morning. Good morning, everyone. I've been up a while. And welcome to a Stronger for Life class. Um, I hope we have a few people joining me today. I'm Nicole from Des Renford Leisure Centre. And we haven't had too many Stronger for Life classes, but have had some adaptations and other things available for you. Um, so welcome if you haven't been on live before to a class. Um, hopefully a few new faces and some people getting ready to come back to the gym in a couple of weeks time. Um, as I said, I'm Nicole and I am one of the instructors from Des Renford. I do take a couple of the Stronger for Life classes and this one being one of the first that we've had live online. Um, we're going to take it relatively easy today, but there will be the opportunity to push yourself if you're able to and if you're ready and capable to do so. Um, make sure you work within your limitations. Uh, this class is designed for a slightly older population. Um, in saying that, we do have some very strong and very fit people that do the class. And we also have some older people that need to slow things down a little and work within your capabilities. Right, please make sure you get doctor's clearance if you have any injuries or any illnesses, any heart conditions that you, know, you need clearance for in the first place. A lot of you will be working through this on your own. We do not want any injuries and we do not want anyone overdoing it. So please make sure you are safe and ready to go. You will just need a small space. Um, most of you will probably be working inside. If you're lucky enough, it is a beautiful day, you might be able to be outside. If that is the case, then fantastic. What you will need if you have available to you is a mat for later on going down on the floor. Have a towel and a water bottle nearby. If you need to quickly go and grab these things, you can. I know some of you have weights, some of you don't. We will be, I will be working with weights with some light dumbbells throughout the class. Um, if you have something you can use instead of dumbbells, if you don't have the dumbbells, you could use water bottles in each hand, just with some water added, which just adds that little bit of resistance. Uh, you could use two cans that you might have in the cupboard. Um, some people have already got themselves organised with weights available. Um, ideally, two weights, if you only have one, I know some people have got weights you know, some heavier items packed in a backpack, which they can do some of the exercises with. If you don't have weights at all, and you might only just be getting back into the groove of things, that's fine. Do the various movements just with your hands, all right? So for example, if we're doing a shoulder press, you can just press up without the weights in your hands. You're still recruiting those same muscles, but not quite getting the strength benefits out of it but it's still going to be worthwhile, particularly if this is a early class for you or you haven't really been doing too much in this time off. Um, we're going to have a stretch, then we're going to go into various sets of exercises and then we'll be down on the mat for some floor exercises and stretching at the end. So just put the weights aside at the moment if you've got them there. If you're still getting yourself organised, just go and grab them and then come back. We're going to have a good stretch and then go into some strength work. Obviously, good for that strength as we get older. Bone strength, muscle strength, movement, coordination and helping just those everyday activities that we want to keep being able to do as we get older in age. All right, let's go. Let's just roll the shoulders back. Roll the shoulders back. Little circles. Just drawing them back. 
warming up there through the shoulders, through the shoulder blades. Get a good posture. Also. Just going to warm up those muscles. Have a good stretch. Reaching up. Reaching tall. Have the feet just wider than shoulder width. And I want you to go into some of those big circles where you're reaching, extending out. Dropping down as far as you can, just slowly and extending up. Down, sweeping through, extending out. Sweeping through, extending out. Two more in that direction. Two, and the opposite way. Stretching out, reaching up as high as you can. Welcome there, Susie, Marg, Adrian, Lynn. Hi. Just stretching with those circles. Two more. Set. If you're capable of going a little further, extending a little further, do so. Same with the weights. If you can go a little heavier, go a little heavier. Now I just want you to reach up and out in front and down towards the toes as far as you can. Stretching through the hamstrings, through the back, drop the neck down, go as low as you can. Some will get to the ground, some may get to the shins, some just past the knees. Do what you can, down towards the ground. Hold it there. And coming back up, roll those shoulders back again. I want you to go into a side lunge. Again, just go as deep as you can. Bend that knee. And I want you to put that arm on the bent leg side straight up in the air. Have the feet in line. And I want you to lean over into that straight leg. Go a little deeper if you can. Get a stretch through that inside leg, down through the side. Try not to be over like this, over nice and straight, and go as deep as you can. Hold it there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And back up. Over to the other side. Arm up, bend that knee, and over. Hold it there, go deeper if you can. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come up. Keep the legs wide. I want you to go down towards the ground and through underneath the body as far as you can again. Reach behind. Take the hands down to the ground. And coming back up. Bring those feet in and back. And then I just want you to do some knee raises, just marching on the spot. Lift that knee as high as you can. Up and down. All right, you can just do little ones if you want to. Higher if you can. Try not to be bending the body forward. Just lifting the knee, getting that balance, driving it up. One, two for 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Good. A little shape there. And finally, I just want you to try and just open up the hips a little. This does require some balance. If you've got a bench or something nearby, you can hold on to the bench. There's something there that I can use if I need to. And you're lifting the knee, you're rotating out, and you're coming back down and round. Up, 
down and round. If you can balance, round. It's a good one for opening up the hips there. Again, just lift the knee, you might just be down low, that's okay. That's okay, you're just doing those little ones there. Otherwise, bring it up and round. Two more on that leg, and then swap legs. Swapping legs. Might be a little click, a little click in mind just there. Hope everyone's well, keeping yourself healthy. And we are looking forward to having you back very soon at the gym. Finally, if you're able to, you're just going to walk out on your hands. Right, now not everyone will be able to do this, but if you're able to, you're going to walk out onto the hands and just hold it and then walk back. All right, if you're not able to do that, just onto a bench and just have a little stretch there. Otherwise, three times, walk out, walk back. Walk it out and walk it back. Walk it out. Walk it back. One more time. Walk it out. Walk it back. And there you go. All right, fast feet, little fast feet. We've had a good warm up. Getting that heart rate up a little bit here. Fast feet. Keep it going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done. Give those arms a shake. Quick drink. And then you're grabbing your weights. Have a quick drink and then weights in hand, two tins, two water bottles, but if you don't have the weights, just be with me here. All right, standing tall, if you've got your dumbbells there, we're going into some Arnold presses. Remember these ones, we start with our Weights there, my hands there in that position, and we come around and push up and back down. Right? Up and back down. Okay, if you haven't got the weights, just clenching the fists. Up and down. We're going for 10, and then we're going into 10 squats. You can hold the weights for the squats, or you can have the weights down, or you can put the weights down. You can go towards a chair if you need to. You've got a little chair there, but otherwise if you're okay, going into that squat, only go as down as far as you can. You'll be squatting down and coming back up. All right, we're doing three sets of each, alternating between the two, 10 repetitions. Okay, so that Arnold press there. Let's go, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and back down. Holding the weight if you've got it, just close to the chest there. If you're only doing half squats, that's fine. If you can, you're going down for a full squat. Make sure you sink into the heels. Don't let the knees collapse in on the way down. Okay, so pushing the knees slightly out, weight through the heels, going for 10. Go. One. You don't have to go too fast. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
nine and ten. Well done. All right, we go back up for another ten of the Arnold presses. Bend the elbows, weights in close, and extending up, using the shoulders there. Breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. And make sure you're controlling this movement. We're not rush, racing things today. All right, this is about strength and movement. All right, down for 10 squats. Sitting on a chair if you need to and coming up or just aiming for a chair. Or if you're strong and capable, all the way down and back up for 10. Go. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. We're going to do one more round. Arnold presses again for ten. Go. If you need to stop at any time, stop. Slow it down. If you only want to do the two sets, just stop and have a rest if you need to. I think that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And down. One more set of squats there. Roll the shoulders back a little. And then with or without the weights in hand, 10 squats. Make sure that weight is going through the heels as you lower yourself down and back up. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Put those weights down. Put those weights down. We are going to do 20 marching legs. Just have your hands out in front there. Try and bring that knee up towards the hand. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Well done. Our next exercise. We're doing our tricep extensions overhead. But we bring the elbows, push that weight up. If you've got the weight there, push that weight up. All right? Some flexibility needed here in the shoulders. Okay, if you don't have the weight, you can do it without weight. Just pressing up, pressing up. All right, and then we're going to see how you go. Not everyone will be able to go right down for those reverse lunges, but we're going, stepping back, and if you can, you're dropping down into that lunge, stepping forward, and alternating, all right? If you can't do the lunge, if you can't lower the knee too far, you can just do a little step back and a little step forward. Little step back, little step forward. If you're able, you're dropping down into the lunge, coming back and alternating. All right, we're going to do 12 tricep extensions, 12 lunges, alternating or small step back. Okay, you can hold one or two weights above for those tricep extensions. Nice straight arms to start. 
In close to the ears, bend at the elbow. Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Bring them down. You can hold the weights beside you if you want to, or no weights at all. And alternate, reverse lunge. Back and forward. Back and forward. Or just a little step and back and forward. Do what you can. Eight to go. on each leg or a little step back and forward. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good work. One more round. Twelve again, if you're able. Drop it to eight or ten if you need to. And one, two, three. Don't race it. Keep your four. Four, five. to the reverse step or lunge. Ready? And go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12. Good work. Put the weights down and we've got those marching knees again. Oh, give the shoulders a little kind of rotation back. Shake them out a little and then just up and down with the knees. Two for 20, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good work. Quick breather, little drink, and we'll go into our next round. Our next round, we are doing some front and side lateral raises. So we're going to have quite straight arms, maybe just a little loose in the elbow. One, two, 
and then up to the sides for one. All right, single arm, single arm, both arms to the side. All right, depending on how heavy the weights are, just come up as high as you can there at the sides. All right, this one's a little heavier. Well, you feel it more in those upper arms. Try and keep the shoulders back. Don't have to go higher than that shoulder height. All right, we're going to do eight rounds, eight rounds of that. And then we're simply going up and down on the toes for 12. Up and down on the toes. If you need to balance on something with those up and down on the toes, just a, little, a wall beside you, up and down. Okay, here we go. So we're going one, two, and to the side. That's one round. One, two, for two. Three. Four. Keep it nice and strong in the stomach. Five. Six. Seven. One more time. Eight. And down. Feet quite close together, a little space between them. Up and down on the toes. Feel that going through into the calves, into the Achilles. Important to keep those calves and that lower leg strong. Just for everyday walking. Two more, one and two. And then straight back into those raises. Front raises, single arm alternate. Go, one, two, and up to the sides. One, two, two. One, two, and that's three. One, two, four. a little up and down on the toes you can try a single leg if you've got something to balance on there you can go up and down on one foot one foot probably is best to have something to balance on put the weights in one hand all right or alternately just up and down on the two if you want to try the single leg go now do ten on each or 12 to 15 on the two lip feet. It's a simple little exercise, but it is effective. You can feel that building up in the calves. And drop down. Let's do one more round. All right, one, two, lateral raise to the side. And one, two, for two. One, two, for three. Don't forget to breathe in and out. Four. Five. Seven, eight, and down. Up and down on the toes. Single or double. Keep it going. Four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well done. Stay there. We are going to go into some bicep curls. All right, bicep curls. So shoulders back, arms out. You've got the weights there. You're just bending at the elbow and straight back down. Up a little faster, down slow. Up for one, down one, two, three. So you're gonna take one second to come up, three or two or three seconds to go down, doing a set of 10. Okay, keep those weights in hand if you've got them. Hopefully you've got some tins or some water bottles if you haven't got the dumbbells. All right, so we go up, one, and then one, two, three on the way down. Two, one, two, three. Three, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three. Five, one, two, three. Six, one, two, three. Seven, one, two, three. Eight, one, two, three. Nine, one, two, three. Ten, one, two, three, and down. If you've got a weight there or something small in your hand, a tin or whatever it may be, we're going to do some of those figure eights through the leg. Remember these, so you've got wide legs, quite wide, and you're going from one side to the other, and at the same time, you're trying to thread that weight through, and over to the other side. Thread it through, over to the other side. This is great for your coordination, good for your legs. If you're struggling with the figure eight, you can just go from side to side. All right, otherwise, figure eights, get ready, go. We're gonna go for 30 seconds here. Get that figure eight. Look down if you need to, try and, if you want to go a little deeper with that side lunge, you can. Otherwise, just little figure eights, keep it or straight from side to side. Keep it going, 10 more seconds. One more, and well done. Back up onto your feet. We're doing 10 more bicep curls. Shoulders back. Keep that stomach nice and strong as well. Right, you're not rocking back and forth with these. Keeping tall, shoulders back. Up for one, down one, two, three. Up for one, down one, two, three. Join in. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. And 30 seconds, shifting from one foot to the other with the weight in hand or adding those figure eights. Go. Don't hit that knee with the weight like I've done in the past. <laughs> you do end up with a bit of a bruise. Keep it going, threading it through. Fifteen seconds to go. Ten. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good work, standing up. Little breather, we're going down onto our mats. 
If you've got a mat there, or something soft on the ground, we're going down, and we're going to start on our hands and knees. Now, I know there's a couple of people that struggle on the knees. You may, if you've got a bench or something nearby, you can do some of these things just leaning on the bench on your feet. Right, because we're going to be starting with some of those arm leg extensions. So you could do it standing, but you will need a lounge or bench to lean on with those hands. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure most of you are capable of going down here onto the knees. Hands and knees. I want you on. Actually, before we come into this, you can just have a quick stretch into that child's pose position. Put the feet together, sink down into the heels, just as low as you can, and forward down towards the mat, creep the hands out, give those shoulders and back a stretch out. Shoulders and back. Keep it there. Sweep the hands out a little further, if you can. And now coming back up onto the hands and knees. I want you to, when my chops hangs down there, but you want to lift up your stomach, lift up the core, nice straight back, and you are doing some bird dogs, which is basically your arm and opposite leg extensions. So just I'll show you, out there, you're going to hold for five seconds and then you're going to come back down and swap legs. Okay, join me. Ready and go. Hold it there for five, four, three, two, one. Drop down. Other side, keep that head and neck in line with the front arm. Elongate the spine, three, two, one, and down. Make sure those hands are below the chest, nice and stable. And again, five, four, three, two, one, down. Other side, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Keep foot going. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Other side. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. One more to each side. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. And one more. Five, four, three, two, one, drop down. I want you to sink down into those heels again, just as far as you can. This time we'll keep the knees together. Sink down, creep the hands out. And then coming back up. Onto the hands and knees. Everyone with me? Okay. This time, you are extending just the leg at the back with a straight leg and you're up and down, up and down. Try and use the glutes there, up and down for 10, then change legs. All right? Try not to arch the back too much. All right? you, the movement's coming from the glutes. Keeping the leg quite straight, okay? And up and down for 10, go. And swap legs. Ten and down. And then you're doing the fire hydrant one, so you're lifting the knee to the side. Up and down. Again, try not to rock the back too much. Lifting that leg up. To the side. If you're standing up, you're leaning over and doing this same movement. You're not down on your knees. Ten on each leg. 
Keep the core strong, lifting the belly up. Go for 10 and then squat legs. Other side.
Right, you can go there, go there. If you can go lower, lower, lower. Take it down. Other arm extended in the opposite direction. Hold it there. And over to the other side. Bend that knee. Just take it as far as you can. You might be there. That's okay. We're in that stretch down through the lower back, through the glutes. And lower if you can. Take it down. Keep the chest up. Arm in opposite direction. Hold it there. And take it back. I want you to come up onto your feet slowly. We are going to have to finish off there. If you want to have some extra stretching, stay down on the mat and do some of your own stretching. Otherwise, you're coming up. Just give the shoulders another roll back. Come up onto your feet carefully, standing up, and just drop down towards the toes once. Roll it up again, roll the shoulders back, down, roll the shoulders back, down. Give a little neck stretch, just a slight pull on each side, not too hard. And there, just through the shoulders there, a little bit of shoulder work today, so just Pull that arm in straight and stretch through the shoulder blade. Got a little over time here, so just finish this one. Hope a few people have joined me today. I can see you there. Enjoy the rest of your day, enjoy your weekend, and look forward to seeing you back soon. See ya.